Hi friends, welcome back to Scrap Skills. In today's video, let's learn how we can do animation in below five blocks. So this is going to be easy and fun. So let's bump into this. So basically, this animation can be done in five blocks because all the work is done by the frames of the costumes. So let's see how this is done. First, we need to get a, a sprite which is blank. Then we have to start drawing some frames. To draw frames, you can use the uh, rectangle tool and draw a ground or anything you want. It can actually be anything you want. So keep in mind, use all the creativity you have. That's going to be my grass. Now for the sky, I'm going to draw another big block and make it blue in color. Okay, looking good. Now after this, we can draw what is going to be the main act of our of our uh, of our animation. So for me, I think I will make it a flower, or no, I'll make it very simple and make it a ball. Of course, you can do animation with a ball uh, with coding itself, but I preferly think using fire blocks of code is much easier. So, you can create a nice little ball and then we can shape it to whatever size we want it to be and yeah, that's gonna be my ball. So I'm gonna start my ball from this area and then we're gonna duplicate and get it for the front, duplicate for the front, duplicate, for the front, duplicate and as you go for the front you also need to make sure that it's going down because of course because there's gravity or if you're making something else according to that and make sure to take small steps so that there can be this smooth flow of the ball going and hitting the ground so as it goes to hit the ground you can actually do a little animation i'll show that to you in no time and boom it hit the ground so there we're gonna flatten the ball a bit and then we're gonna uh, put a few lines to indicating that the ball has smacked the ground so you're gonna put a few lines oh and make sure the lines are black because any splash indicators of things like that has to be black yeah okay make sure you are unselected the ball because i had selected the ball and it became a pretty big problem okay smash you can add how many other lines you want and voila the ball has smashed the ground after that you have to duplicate the above one so that you don't have to actually remove those and then you're gonna select the tools use the selecting tool and select this guy and then you're gonna keep this time making it up let it be back to its original pace and do the same thing we did like that duplicate 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 I mean this is really easy to do all that you have to do is a bit of drawing like basically the only drawing I did over here was those lines and drawing these um, two squares and one circle so it is really easy in my opinion to do this and I would surely recommend doing this like below five blocks of code for a great animation what else would you want to animate so easily okay this kit is coming together because that's going to be the last one and duplicate there 
so as I thought there was 35 frames and that's gonna be our animation it was pretty much really easy and like stick the blocks that we're gonna need Vendrin fact click is the first block forever seconds will be zero and then you're going to go and take a next costume block perfect so as you guys can see uh, these are four blocks let's click on that Ooh, smooth I like it it's having that animation that we want so yeah this came out really great and you can do like anything with it um, if you can make a walking penguin or anything so guys if you like this video make sure to like share and subscribe and comment down what you did and do post the link of your project in my description to get the link of this of this uh, this project it is uh, it's given in the description you can go ahead and check it out use the code of that or take it for reference so bye guys